Have you ever heard about the phrase, bringing a sword to a gunfight? Well, the production studio of Sword Art Online shows us such a scenario where Kirito is the lone swordsman in a world full of virtual guns. You would think that having a sword puts him at a disadvantage, but he pretty much just bosses up on everyone and it doesn't matter who he needs to face, he's about to slash you with that sword. The world of Gun Gale Online, this new venture of Sal, Sword Art Online, has been causing a divide among the fan base ever since it's been released. While many consider it to be a breath of fresh air in the franchise, others have deemed it to be completely out of place. So today, we will be taking a deep dive into the world of Gun Gale Online and explain every feature that has made it a unique arc in this popular anime series. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's get it. Gun Gale Online is only part of the Sword Art Online saga that contains Caliber and Mother Rosario as side stories. This is why it's easy for fans to get confused with the later quests that take place in different virtual reality games. The story of Gun Gale Online is more popularly known as the Phantom Bullet arc, which was a direct adaptation of the light novel Volume 5. This storyline aired on July 5th, 2014 in Japan, but the official release date in the US was pushed back to a year later on March 29th, 2015. The story of the Phantom Bullet arc takes place right after the events of Season 1, where our heroes have completed their adventure in Alfenheim Online. Although Kirito plans to take an extended vacation, it is foiled by the emergence of Death Gun in the world of Gun Gale Online. He can fire a phantom bullet at any character that will also lead to that character's death, not just in the game, but also in real life. When professional GGO player XED dies after a similar incident, the concerned authorities come to Kirito for help. They request him to investigate the matter and to get to the bottom of what's actually happening in Gun Gale Online. However, Kirito's worry about creating a new account is resolved when he comes to know that he can just transfer his character from Alfenheim Online to Gun Gale Online with the help of a mechanism called the Seed. After this process is successful, Kirito is shocked to find out that his avatar in Gun Gale Online has taken the form of a girl. This is why many fans were confused with the identity of the girl that was shown in the opening song of the first two episodes. They had no idea that it was actually Kirito. At the time, Kirito goes to the virtual world of Gun Gale Online. When Kirito first enters the world of GGO, he learns about a new tournament called the Bullet of Bullets, which he realizes is his best chance to run into Death Gun and uncover the truth about what's been happening to the players in this game. While trying to navigate the rules of Gun Gale Online, he meets the ice cold sniper, Xenon. Xenon agrees to help Kirito due to his female avatar as this marks the start of a new adventure for the duo. But they are completely unaware of the fact that Death Gun is working in the shadows to eliminate his next target, none other than Xenon herself. Before Kirito meets up with Xenon, we see her bossing the game in an introductory second episode. Not only does she take down an evil boss, but she also manages to defeat the leader of an enemy squadron. Imagine killing someone with a sniper rifle while he is holding a minigun. That's how badass Xenon is. Meanwhile, we come to know the real reason for Xenon's entry into GGL. She is using this as a part of her recovery from her fear of guns. Anyways, after meeting with Xenon, Kirito buys a photon blade, much to her surprise. They soon leave that place to register their names in B.O.B., which will act as the main clue for capturing Death Gun. After the start of the qualifiers of B.O.B., the duo find themselves facing each other in the final. Kirito manages to show his impressive sword skills and emerges victorious against the sniper rifle Xenon. They both progress to the next round as the threat of death gun still lurks in the shadows. In the battle royale round, they manage to find out the identity of death gun, who escapes their grasp somehow. Meanwhile, Asuna realizes that death gun is not working alone and is probably a big group in connection with the original player killers from Sword Art Online 
laughing coffin. Kirito and Sinon narrow down the alias of Death Gun to a new player, but Sinon's fear of guns costs them the chance to capture him. At the end of the battle royale, they manage to find Death Gun alone and use their superb coordination to kill him. Later, they both die together with a grenade and become double champions of B.O.B. But the plot doesn't end there, as an accomplice of Death Gun reaches Sinon's flat and tries to take advantage of her. Kirito arrives there at the right time and saves her life as the saga of Death Gun finally can come to an end. Now, looking back on this series, it was actually pretty good, and I didn't mind the fact that they changed Kirito's appearance. It actually kind of added a new element to the story, and despite the fact that, yes, Beater Kirito from the original Sao was a GOAT, this new Kirito was still pretty kick-ass, and the fact that this man was out here using a lightsaber, like looking like damn Obi-Wan Kenobi, instead of trying to shoot mans up, was pretty hard, you can't lie. And Sinon was a nice touch too. It was interesting to see him get paired up with a new female protagonist and not just stick to the same formula that was going on from him and Asuna in the original. Cause let's face it, Asuna was getting hella annoying. But at the same time, I could totally see why people hated on this anime. I mean, for starters, they completely took the plot and shifted it into a new environment. It was really abrupt and didn't really make too much sense. And obviously, if you've been invested in this mythical lore where it's kind of like an online Lord of the Rings, so to speak, in Sword Art Online, then to take it into a more futuristic but dystopian gun riddled approach didn't really make sense. So I don't really know what the creators were thinking when they decided to make such a drastic change between these two seasons. But hey, they got greenlit for Alicization, so I guess it worked. Anyways, let me know what you thought about this anime and let me know if there's anything that I missed. If you haven't already, don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and press the bell notification icon so you never miss another update. I'm King Casper, thanks for watching, this was Gungale Online, and until next time, peace.